Are you part of the 0.01% of people that can solve these challenges? From answering impossible riddles to solving the weirdest mysteries ever, these quiz challenges will blow your mind. And stick around to the end because we try an app game that is guaranteed to make you smarter. Let's go. Okay, now what instrument does Bunzo Bunny play? Everyone play along at home. Let us know how many of these you guys get right. And if you can beat us, okay, does Bunzo Bunny play the guitar, the violin, the symbols or the piano. Okay, I'm trying to think back. Obviously, Bunzo Bunny is from Poppy Playtime Chapter 2. He's the really scary bunny. Yeah. I don't Well, I don't Bunzo remember. Bunny's in musical memory, so music, that's why it's an instrument. Guitar, I don't think Bunzo plays the guitar. That's like Glamrock Freddy or Chica. Yeah, I think it's either the violin or the cymbal. What about the piano? I don't think it's the piano. Why? Right, yeah, it could be. I'm trying to think back to the game. I don't remember hearing any pianos there. I remember hearing, um, like, when he's, like, dropping down on you. He's, like, doing this, right? Yeah. What instrument can you do that with? You can't do that with... Well, the violin, you kind of do that. I think it's cymbals. You think it's a cymbal? Oh, like, oh, cymbals, like, from drums. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Let's lock in cymbals. Okay, we're locking C cymbals. See if it's right. Let's oh! Go! We got it right. Okay, next up. It's getting more and more tricky, guys. As we go, they're going to get harder and harder. What colors is PJ Pugapillar? Is he A, red and yellow, B, blue and purple, C, green and blue, or D, yellow and green? Now, red and yellow... That's McDonald's colors. That's like Ronald McDonald. Right, exactly. Guys, play along, watch the whole video, and let us know how many of these questions you get right. Now, R Ronald McDonald the pillar. PJ Pug a pillar is L the. We gotta try and envision it. Okay, is it red and yellow? It's definitely not red and yellow. Why? It's it looks just, like ketchup and mustard. It's just not how I remember it at okay, all. Okay, okay. Blue and purple. That seems right, but that might be a trick answer. Because that's like the color of Huggy Wuggy and Casamassi. Right, exactly. So maybe that's what it's like short circuiting my brain. Now, green and blue, that sounds right. Green and blue, yeah. That the caterpillar is like green, you know what I mean? That seems to be it, yeah. Because it eats leaves. Yellow and green, That I think that's the color of Bunzo Bunny. They're trying to throw us off the trail. Right, okay, so it's not A and it's not D. It's either B, blue and purple, or, or C, green and blue. Now, C, green and blue, who else we know who's green and blue? Luca. Right, the sea monster. Luca, and isn't Alberto blue and purple, man? That's like, true, how, yeah. How are we going to know, bro? It's impossible. This is tricky. I'm going to lock in C, green and blue. What are you going to lock in? I think you're right, dude. Because caterpillars eat leaves. Mm -hmm. PJ Pugapillar is a caterpillar and leaves are green. So okay, green let's see what the answer is. Here we go. Oh, it was blue and purple. Come on, now that you see it, it seems so obvious. Okay, now what color are Sonic's eyes? I have absolutely no idea. Mm, this one's tricky. Okay, is it blue, red, green, or yellow? I actually don't know. I I think I think it's either blue or yellow, because blue is the color of Sonic, so that makes sense. Or D, yellow, because then it looks like a yellow ring, like the rings he always wants. So I might say D yellow. You're gonna guess yellow? The only one yeah. I know it's not is red. I know Why? his eyes aren't red. Why? What if he's evil Sonic.exe? Right, exactly, but he's normal Sonic here, so oh. it's not red. Oh. I, I think it's either blue or green. I'm gonna guess it's green. Okay, I'm just gonna log in C. I'm gonna log in D. Let's see who got it right. Oh! Yeah, cool! It was green, okay. Now, what pet... The SpongeBob have now. This is really tricky. He's have a jellyfish. He loves jellyfish. Rock. Oh, like Patrick lives under a snail. No, wait. Patrick has a pet rock. Right. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Right. In one episode, Patrick has a pet rock. So we probably know it's not the rock because that's Patrick's pet. No. What if SpongeBob has a pet rock also? And mm, they're friends. That's a good idea. So is it a rock, a snail, snail or a slug. slug? I don't think. Okay, I'm gonna eliminate slug because I don't think there's slugs in. There's sea Spongebob. slugs. Sea slugs are a real animal, and guys. Sea um, uh, uh, anemones. Right, guys. I think it's either A, a jellyfish, or C, a snail. You don't think it's a rock? I don't think it's the rock. <laughs> and I don't think it's a slug. I, I know SpongeBob catches jellyfish, but I think he just makes jelly with the jellyfish. Right, he makes jelly sandwiches. I think it's C, it's Gary the snail. There it is. Okay, I'm gonna lock in C right, as it's well. C, it's C. Let's go, dude. Let's go. Nice. Okay, now what does boyfriend hold? Okay, this is getting really tricky. Flowers. I don't seem to remember that. Lollipop. That's possible. A microphone or a balloon. Now, I, I think balloon is trying to trick us. That's like Pennywise. Pennywise holds a red balloon. Right, and flowers, that would maybe be for like girlfriend. 
Oh. Like he's trying to give her flowers. But no, I think, I don't want to overthink this one. Boyfriend, all he does is sing. sing, so it's probably microphone. Yeah, I think it's the microphone. Oh, let's walk in and see. Okay. Got it. Yeah, I knew it looked like that, but I got kind of confused that it was a lollipop. <laughs> okay, now what does Miraculous Ladybug use to fight crime with? Okay, is it a sword, a pickaxe, a yo-yo or a poppet toy? Bro, like the new boxy poppet toy. Oh, right, yeah. I'm thinking, I don't think she has a sword. That sounds kind of dangerous. Yeah, we got the new boxy poppet. It's pretty lit. Yeah, you guys can get this in the Lanky Box mystery box. In the giant mystery box. Now, a pickaxe, I don't think, I think that's, they're thinking of Minecraft Steve. Ooh. Right? You know what I mean? It's either a yo-yo or a sword. Hmm. I don't think it's a poppet. Oh, maybe it is, because a poppet has a bunch of circles on it, kind of like the dots on Miraculous Ladybug. I think I remember watching an episode when she was battling Hawk Moth where she used a sword. So I think it's a, a sword. I think it's the yo-yo, man. You sure? I think it's a yo-yo, right? Am I losing my brain? Guys, play along. You might actually be able to beat me and Justin because we're not very smart. So we're trying our best. I'm gonna lock in sword. What I'm, do you wanna I'm lock, lock in? in yo yo. Okay, okay, let's see. Alright. It was a yo yo! Nice! That's awesome, let's go. Which isn't a shape for the squid game guard. Now, this is tricky. I, I hate when they do this in school because it's like, which of these answers is wrong? Okay, okay, is it a triangle, a star, a square, or a circle? Okay, this is really tricky. Triangle, I believe it is. Yeah, I remember seeing the triangle on the Squid Game. Star, guard. I think it is also because it's yep. in um, it's in like the Cookie Challenge. Right. right? Yep. The star. star is definitely Give there. Give me the star, star, star. Right. From our Squid Game song. Right. Okay. A square. I don't remember a square. I literally do not know the answer here, guys. I don't think it's a square. What do you mean literally? We don't know the answer to any of these. I know, but this one is like I have no idea. Circle is in the Candy Challenge. The shapes are. Circle, star, triangle, umbrella. So I think it's C square. I don't think it's square. I remember seeing a square. I'm gonna lock in circle. You gonna lock in the circle? Yeah. Guys, okay. this is this is a tricky one. Play along. Okay, okay, okay. Why we both got it wrong? <laughs> Oh it man! Star. Oh, so it's not—it's not the cookies. It's the the face. Wow! And we even sang our Squid Game song. Uh, wow. Okay. Which is Pooh's mouth? Now this is Evil Pooh who did hack our iPad at 3 a.m. Yep, that happened. We had to delete the Pooh app from our iPad. Yep, that is true. And we have to guess what does his mouth look like. Wait, this is actually impossible. I have no idea. I don't know either. I mean, A kind of looks more like a nose because it's like sideways. Yeah, may or maybe he's smiling like this. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> um, you know I mean? B and C are both basically the same, I, which is pretty tricky. I think it's either A or B. D, I mean, that's real disrespectful, bro. Adam does that sometimes. It's don't like PJ Pugapillar. Nah, <laughs> nah. I'm going to guess it's C. I think it's A. You think it's A? I think he's doing the... I think he's doing like a real evil smile. I think it's, you can think it's C? I'm gonna lock in C. I actually don't know, is it B? I think it's A. Okay, I'm gonna go with C. All right, here we go. <laughs> it was A! Oh, I forgot his smile is like on the side of his face. That is a max difficulty one. If you guys knew that was A, you're a genius. Okay, what game is this Huggy Wuggy from? Now that's real interesting. So normally when I read that question, I thought Wacka Wuggy or uh -huh. Poppy Playtime, right? Right, exactly. But that's not normal Huggy Wuggy. Okay, is it from Poppy Playtime, Roblox, Friday Night Funkin' or Minecraft? Okay, I don't think it's Minecraft because Minecraft, everything looks like a block. It right. It's like a brick. Right. I don't think it's Roblox either because everything in Roblox looks, well, Roblox got those new avatars be looking super real. That's true. I think it's either Roblox or Friday Night Funkin'. Yeah, and that's not the Huggy Wuggy from Poppy Playtime. Those look really scary and they go, Rah! right, 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 exactly. You know what I mean? I'm pretty sure this is from Friday Night Funkin' from that song we love so much. Da, 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 da. Playtime. Yeah, I'm gonna guess C. I'm gonna guess C, Friday Night Funkin'. Let's go! Got it! Okay, now what did Luca want? There's Luca. Okay. Did, did he want a bicycle, a Vespa, a skateboard, or a tricycle? I think it's a bicycle? Adam wants a tricycle. Yeah, that's true. I mean, Luca, Luca wanted to just 
be a sea monster. Okay, so that's not an answer. But that's not an answer. I'm gonna guess. He wanted just to be loved. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna guess a skateboard. No, he don't want a skateboard. It's something you sit on, but I don't remember what it's called. A bicycle or a Vespa. What's a Vespa? Not sure. I don't even know. He wanted like a motorcycle, like a scooter, but like it's on two wheels. So I think it's a bicycle. Okay, I'm gonna I don't stick remember, guys. Skateboard. Adam has watched Luca so many times, it jumbled up in my brain. Right, right, right. And then he started watching Turning Red in Kanto. Like it's all jumbled in my brain. Yeah, I don't have a very good memory, so I'm not sure. I'm a, I'm gonna guess skateboard. Now let me let me just ask real quick. How you've seen Luca? I would say probably over a hundred times. Oh, easily, yeah. And you're unlocking a C skateboard. <laughs> And like I said, guys, my brain does not work very well. Okay. I think it's skateboard. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm locking bicycle. I know it's on two wheels. Okay, right, okay, let's go. see. <laughs> oh, the Vespa! Okay, now it makes sense. It's all coming back. Wait, is that the Vespa? I thought it was red, too. Yeah, it's the Vespa. My brain short-circuiting. Okay, now what kind of animal is Knuckles? Is he a hedgehog, an armadillo, an Inkaida, Inkaida, or an octopus? Okay, well, I know it's not C because I can't pronounce that one. I don't even know what that thing is. He's not an octo... Well, he might be his, 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 his hair or something. Might be like tentacles. Oh, yeah. I never thought about this. An armadillo or I a never thought about this. I never really thought what animal is knuckles. I'm gonna guess armadillo. Armadillo. Yeah, because I don't think he's a hedgehog because Sonic's a hedgehog. Arm armadillos roll around. No, you just said it. Sonic's a hedgehog, so isn't he a hedgehog? Well, no, because I think Tails is like a fox. What? What? Tails is like a fox. A fox. What do you mean? I think he's a he's an armadillo. So what's Amy? Amy is a hedgehog. No, she would be an Amy Dillo. <laughs> <laughs> Why is she a hedgehog and Knuckles can't be a hedgehog then? I don't know. I just think, think Armadillo is it. I'm not going to overthink this. I think Sonic is a hedgehog, Knuckles is a hedgehog. Adam, what are you locking in? B, Armadillo. <laughs> oh, it's a... Echidna. I can't even pronounce that. We don't even know what that is. That's the animal, bro? We will put an uh, image on screen of what a real Echidna looks like so you guys can see. Okay, I have no idea what that is. I learned something new. Okay, now what is on Patrick's pants? Krabby Patties, jellyfishes, rocks, or flowers? It's not rocks. Yeah. You got rocks on his socks. I think it's either jellyfishes yeah. or flowers. I think it's B, jellyfish, because I remember it's like pink, right? Or it's like purple? It's like purple. So I think it'd be jellyfishes. I'm thinking it's flowers. I seem to remember flowers on Patrick's pants. And they're like purple flowers. I think that's yeah, it. No, it's purple, so I think it's jellyfishes. Well, the jellyfish, jellyfish are like pink in SpongeBob. What? Yeah. I'm gonna say jellyfishes. All right, I'm locking in flowers. Okay. Oh, it was flat. Oh. Got it, nice. Okay, that was really tricky. I, I knew it was like that color. I just thought it was jellyfish. What does Pennywise like? Popcorn, unicycles, balloons, or donuts? Wait, this is a trick question. He likes popcorn and balloons. That's true. When he's talking to Georgie in the sewer, he always goes pop, pop, pop. But he also loves holding balloons. Yeah, maybe he doesn't like popcorn. Maybe he just talked about it. Right. But who doesn't like donuts? He probably likes it. He probably likes unicycles too because he's a clown at the circus. I mean, I don't think Pennywise ever rides a unicycle, and I don't think he ever eats. <laughs> Dude, the Pennywise dance. I don't think he ever eats donuts. It's popcorn or balloons. Pop, 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 pop. I'm gonna lock in balloons only because I know he always yeah. holds a red balloon. I know balloon. he holds one, but maybe he doesn't like the balloon. Oh, maybe. Okay, let's see. It was balloons. Nice. All, All right. right. That one. Nice. Okay, where did Maitley first transform into a panda? This is max difficulty. Now, once again, before we answer this one, Adam, you've seen Turning Red probably over 300 times, right? Yep. 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 Okay. <laughs> I don't want to mess this one up. Now, was it at school, at home, at the mall, or at a concert? No. Wait, it's impossible. I don't know. I know she transformed into a panda at school because yeah. she got really embarrassed because her mom was looking at her behind the tree. Yeah. She got embarrassed. She transformed into the panda, and then she had to run home. I know. it's. I'm using the process of elimination. It's not B at a concert because the concert at Four Talent happens at the end of the movie, so it can't be the first time. You're right. You're right. Big so brain. It's, it's either at school or at home. Or at I, the mall. It's not the mall because I don't think they ever go to the mall in the movie. Yes, they do. When? The store. You know, the convenience store. Oh, the Auga. Oh, wait a minute, guys. I think I might actually know this one. Okay. I think it's at home because 
when um, she first saw that she was a panda, she was in her room and then she walked school, to the bathroom. Bro. I think she's at school. I think it's at I think home. She's at school, bro. You want to lock in school? I think you want to lock in school. I think it's at home. <laughs> I think it's at home, guys. I th I'm pretty sure it's at home too. Okay, we're gonna lock that in. Okay, now I've only seen it once, and I um, I saw it at 3 a.m. So yep. Adam has seen this movie 300 times. I will not mess this one up. Okay, we're locking in B at home. Nice. Yes. <laughs> okay, I was so worried about that one. I didn't want another Luca issue. I thought issue. it might be at school too. Yeah. Okay, now what color are Mirabelle's glasses? Green, black, silver, or blue? This one I think is pretty easy. I think it's blue. I know it's a, like colorful. Like, so I think it's green or blue. Like, I think it's a bright color. I don't think it's black or silver. I don't either. I seem to remember being blue only because it kind of matches with her earrings. I think it's green, dude. I think, I think it's bright green. You sure? How, so you've seen Encanto, I think, close to like 200 times? Yeah. Because you've been singing the We Don't Talk About Brune. No, no, Adam sings that every day. Yep. And I think it's blue because green is the color of Bruno's eyes. 200 times you've seen the movie, probably. Yeah. Because you watch it three times a day, every single day since it came out. I think it's blue, guys. Okay, I'm a log in green. Okay. Okay, here we go. <laughs> it's green! No! That's embarrassing! Adam, when you watch the movies, are you even watching? <laughs> it's because Adam, he listens to the music and he just does this. <laughs> His eyes are closed, he's doing this. <laughs> We don't talk about bruise, That's what he's doing. So he's not even watching the movie, bro. Oh, man. Okay, now what kind of money is used in Roblox? I mean, this, come on, bro. Is it our bucks, Roblox coins, our gems, or Robux? Come on, bro. We already know this one, guys. We love doing this. It's, it's, it's Robux, dude. Although our bucks sounds very similar. Right. It's Robux. That's D. Come on, bro. Robux. Let's go. And here's the max difficulty question. Which best describes Foxy? Cute, thick, cuddly, or all of the above? I mean, let me ask Foxy. Foxy, are you cute? Yeah. Are you thick? Yeah. Are you cuddly? Yeah. Then it's all of the above. It's all of the above. Let's go. The evil queen decided to get rid. Uh-oh. What? What's she getting rid of, bro? Oh. Of her daughter-in-law. Oh, why would you do that? She's evil. Oh, that makes sense. She decided to poison the apples, bro. There's three apples. Oh. She poisoned two of them that the princess was about to have for breakfast. All right, she poisoned two of the apples. But the amount of poison turned out, what did it turn out to be, man? To be only sufficient for two apples. So she poisoned two apples, bro. All right, makes sense. Okay, let's go, dude, let's go. Which apple is safe, bro? All what? right, so we're gonna look at five riddles, including a Mirabelle and Canto riddle. Now, let's Let's see if Justin can solve this. Hold on, let me just rewind this dude, easy. Let me just re <laughs> <laughs> rewind that, bro. All right, let me watch. She poisoned left, middle. Okay. Okay, keep your eyes on the prize, guys. Keep your eyes on the apple, left, middle. But then she did a quick little shuffle and I lost them. All right, let's see if Justin can track them. So this one's the, the clean one. Uh-huh. Right, obviously. Okay. This one's the clean one. Boom, it's right there. Now guys, this riddle is pretty tricky. You gotta look real close in order to see the answer. Is one of them like different with the reflections or the leaves? This one got like a weird sticker on it. You know how sometimes you get apples from the store, they got a sticker on it? Yeah. It's this one. I saw the way it moved, bro. Like it was like this, like this. Like we got three apples. She poisoned the two and then she went <laughs> it's, I know which one it is. It's this one. You sure that's a sticker? Why are you keep asking, bro? All right, Justin's gonna lock in the middle apple. Let's see what the answer hey, is. Let's go. It's obvious. Guys, I literally watched it go. Like, what do you mean, bro? All right, let's see what the answer I'm is. A genius, bro. That's easy. Give me my ding. Got the first one right. And the next riddle is? Uh, uh, uh. Mm. The answer is what? that one because there's a worm in it. The worm is alive, so it must be safe. That's a worm? Yeah. I thought that was a smiley sticker. <laughs> okay, now this is a max level Encanto riddle. Young, I am tall. Old, I am short. I love to go. Breath is my fart. 
<laughs> what? This gross? No, it says breath is my foe, like my enemy. Okay. Yeah, so I love to glow, breath is my foe. So it's like afraid of breath. I love to breath. glow, breath is my foe. Is this a nursery rhyme? <laughs> a little goo goo ga ga. It is a riddle. Now, guys, this is a Mirabelle riddle. This one's gonna be tricky. This one is real difficult, guys. I picked this one. I don't think Judd is gonna be able to solve it. Okay, young I am tall, old I am short. That's the biggest clue. Young I am tall, old I am short. What's tall when it's young and then short when it's old? I'm not gonna give you any hints. I actually don't know. I was thinking tree, but it's not a tree. Right, trees get taller as they get older. That's what I'm saying. Hmm. Unless it's a shrinking tree, a magic tree. Why is Mirabelle here is the real question, bro. I don't know. Maybe that has something to do with it's the riddle. It's a flower, bro. Young? Because I am tall. Yeah, because flowers, they like shrivel up when they get super old. Like they've been in the sun for too long. They love to glow. Flowers glow. Not and really. Breath is my foe. Because if you pick a dandelion, Adam always goes and it blows everywhere. I'm a genius. It's flowers. Wait, but a flower doesn't glow. I love yeah, to does. glow. They glow up. Uh, so you always say, Adam always walks around the house saying, Mommy, I'm glowing up. Flowers love to grow. That's what I'm saying. But not glow. So it's not a flower? I'll give you a hint. You're mm. wrong. <laughs> dude, I actually got it. I actually, I'm so smart, dude. It's so funny. What man. is it? I'm so smart, bro. Guys, let us know if you're playing along at home. I actually know the answer. I'm going to say it in three, two, one. It's a candle. Yeah! It's a candle because think about it, guys. Young, I am tall. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Because when you first get a new candle, it's long, right? Then when you light it and use it, it gets shorter. It loves to glow and breath is it's foe because it puts the candle out. Dude, I, that was so hard. I only got that because Mirabelle was here. Because I was thinking about what Mirabelle has, like the butterflies. Got, I was thinking, is a butterfly tall or short? And then I thought about the candle. If Mirabelle wasn't here, I wouldn't have got that. So thank you to Mirabelle, dude. Wow, that gets a ding. Let's move on. Okay, now this riddle looks more easy. It says, what's wrong? I mean, obviously there's something wrong here. These people are floating in space. Well, they're swimming. Now guys, Play along at home. Let us know if you guys see anything. I'm looking very close. What's wrong? I'm looking in the direction people are swimming. I'm trying to make sure everyone has goggles. Not to be confused with Googles. <laughs> Google is what you use to look at the internet. The goggles, you gotta make sure you protect your eyes. Right? They all have goggles. Okay. Okay, they all look good. Nice, so something is wrong in this picture, guys. What? What is it? See if you can solve this before Justin does. I'm checking, they all got good form. They're all doing what we call crawl stroke. Uh-huh. So it looks like Adam when he's crawling on the ground. <laughs> she does do. <laughs> Let me look, guys. Let me look. I don't know. Uh... You got to look real close for this one. That's what I'm doing, bro. I don't see... Okay. Maybe it has to do with, like, their breathing technique. They're all open mouth. They shouldn't have their mouth open when they're swimming, bro. The water's going to get in. Mm, I don't know. Is that what's wrong? Is that the answer? No. Mm. There's, there's something wrong with one of these people. Oh, it's just one. Yeah. So, guys, look close. See what you can see. I got it, dude. What is it? There's two of these, bro. There's two she of everyone. Used the clone. What? There's two of everyone. They just flipped the image. Man. It's tricky, tricky. Is that what's wrong? There's like a mirror here. I just noticed. Yeah, it's flipped, bro. Now the timer's going down. Oh. Stop, 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 stop. I got it. No way. This dude's wearing a hat. Exactly. Why is he wearing a hat when he's swimming? Yeah. Wait, but maybe it's like one of those fancy hats hats that swimmers wear to go faster. You know what I mean? But this looks like a winter hat. No, it looks like a fancy swimming hat. Swimming hats don't have the ball on the top, I'm though. gonna lock that in, dude. I think it's the hat, bro. Alright, let's see. Let's go! Nice! Okay, Derek went to elementary school. Okay, look like Aiden going to school. Okay, his mommy gave him a hamburger for lunch. That lucky Derek. All right. But he disappeared from his bag each time. Oh, yikes. Okay, Derek, you ate it, bro. When Derek stayed hungry once again, what? <laughs> he got angry and decided to track down the thief. Someone's stealing his lunch, man. Exactly. That's messed up. The next day, he left his bag in the classroom. Okay, somebody about to steal his burger. Walked out the door and laid low. All right, let's see. He saw somebody pulling the hamburger out of his bag. Oh, boy. But he didn't see his or her face. Well, what was the point of that then, Derek? Derek decided to ask everyone about the stolen burger. So one of these people stole the burger. Okay, it's right there. We'll see. How is that not the answer? It's this guy. You got to keep watching. Oh, wait, they all have what? 
How can you think that of me? Well, I don't know, Ross. You have a burger. <laughs> this is my burger. Yeah, right, Ross. Yeah, right. Okay, she got a salad. I only eat salad, said Betty. Hmm. Likely story. David, my mom made this burger for me. That What? All right, so there's three people. Can Justin beat this? Now, guys, this is probably one of the toughest riddles I have ever seen. If Justin's able to get this, I will literally be shook. Okay, we have to find out who stole the hamburger? Exactly. Was it Beatty, Ross, or David? I have no idea. How am I supposed to figure this out? Now, this one requires you to go back in the riddle and be like super detective mode. All right, let me go back, dude. Let me go back. All right. You think it might have to do with the mom? You said doo doo? Doo, mom. I'm my my said. Dude, maybe he said, he just, <laughs> maybe it has to do with the mom. <laughs> Why do you get so flustered when you talk about the mom? <laughs> just chill, Adam. It's not your mom. I know. Okay. At first, I was actually a genius big brain. I thought it was the dog. Because <laughs> the doggy would steal the hamburger. Okay. And he do look hungry, doesn't he? Yeah, there's the burger. Wait, I see it, dude. Look at the burger. It matches the one that was stolen. What do you mean? Okay, look. There's no lettuce. It's just bun, tomato, cheese, patty, right? Yeah. Okay, fast forward to the end. It matches this burger, bro. It, that, it doesn't look like Ross. Ross got the lettuce. You know what I mean? How would you give me a, a riddle about burgers? You think I wouldn't get it? That's right. Let's go. Look at the answer, guys. Let's this is go. crazy. Let's go, dude. Let's go. I knew it was this guy. And he's trying to hide it behind a book. I thought this would take you like weeks to get. It's a riddle about food. You thought I wouldn't get it? When I played it before, it took me like 10 hours to get. Well, well, well. Probably because you're looking at the salad. <laughs> thinking about the mom. <laughs> I knew it was David. Look at David, bro. You know how I knew it was David? How? They remind me of you. Wow, so yeah, you guys can see Ross's burger has lettuce on it. So that's how you can tell that they, it's not the they burger. They reminds me of Adam, dude. He dresses like Adam, he steals my food, and he pretends to read. And we all know he doesn't. <laughs> we all know that book is not doing anything, David. You're not <laughs> okay, here's the answer. Hey, Derek didn't have lettuce. I knew that, bro. Obviously. Yeah. Yup, David stole the burger. All right, next riddle. Okay, now this one says, I am something in the sky. That seems to shine at night. However, I am not a star. I am Earth's satellite. Okay, and we got an image of the sun and moon boss from the game. Now, guys, this one's real tricky. Let's see if Justin's my, my giant brain is able to beat it. What is happening to your English, bro? It's going to the girl. <laughs> I just want to see if you can solve this riddle. Okay, it's something in the sky that shines at night could be anything no nah, it could be one of two things you think maybe it's like a unidentified <laughs> okay i wasn't thinking about it, it could be one of three things could be a UFO. could be that i mean the background is green it could be that you laughing that was abducted <laughs> and they conducted experiments <laughs> on my brain. <laughs> All right, it might be that. Could be that. Or it could be Adam's nightlight, because that does <laughs> that shines at night, and it's not a star. That's true. Or it could be stars. Okay, wait, it's not a star. Okay, so it's not that. Ooh. Something in the sky that shines at night. What shines at night in the sky? Hmm. Your nightlight. But my nightlight isn't in the sky. It's in the wall. Okay. Good point. Yeah. So it must be you. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna lock that in. I'm gonna lock that in. Does that make sense? Yeah. You wanna lock your UFO? Wait, why is it Sun Moon Boss? Why are they holding hands, bro? Because they're friends. They would probably be able to figure out this riddle pretty quick. Okay. Well, it's not the sun because the sun doesn't shine at night. Is it the moon? Wait. I'm mean, something in the sky that shines at night. Okay. A, a moon. However, I'm not a star. The moon is not a star. It's technically a rock. Rocky in his family, actually. It's made of cheese. What? I always thought the moon was made of cheese. Yeah, cheese on your brain again. <laughs> no, the moon's not made of cheese. Oh, I don't know. That's Jupiter. Oh, my bad. And I'm not a star. I'm Earth satellite. It's the moon. The moon goes around the Earth. Ding, 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 ding. Oh! All right, Justin got that one right. Woo! It's the moon. Woo! 
Okay, this one says John was in a big room. Okay, that's John? Yeah. He's in like a castle. There was a chest. Okay. Whoa. Okay, inside was an invisibility cloak. Is this Harry Potter? Wow. The vampires were smashing on the door. What? So he's getting chased by vampires. Time to go. Wait, what? Okay, so he's in a big room. There's vampires chasing him. He got an invisibility cloak. He should be fine. John grabbed the cloak. Yeah. Oh, he turned invisible. Okay, let's go. Wow. That's pretty lit. That's awesome. He's keeping it pretty lit. There were three tunnels leading from the room, okay? You gotta pick which tunnel, okay? Oh, man, this one's getting harder. That's pretty lit. A rail car is speeding around inside the first one, okay? Tricky, tricky. I could dodge that because I have cat-like reflexes. Oh, John might get run over. Okay, okay. And he would probably oof. Okay. <gasps> Dangerous and hungry lions are roaming around the second tunnel. Roar! Okay, he's keeping it lit. A deadly knight is guarding the entrance on the third one. Wow. And he got a pony. All right, so what should John do to escape? Okay, guys, we got to pick the right tunnel. Let me know what you think the answers are. This one's easy, Adam. See, because I have an invisibility cloak in real life. Wait, no, you don't. Yes, I do. That does not work, Oh, dude. yeah. Oh, yeah. Wait, oh, what? Oh, yeah. You and Foxy have your own invisibility cloak? Check it out, guys. Whoa! <laughs> I'm gone. That's crazy. Yep, and that's how I know how to solve this, dude. They, they try to throw me off the trail, bro. It's probably not the mine cart. That's very dangerous. It's one of these because John's invisible. So how would they even know he's there, bro? That's true because, like, even if you're invisible, a mine cart, if it hits you, you'd still get it. That's what I'm saying, dude. Now, okay, is it the lion or the knight? I think the safe way is the knight because the lion could still smell you. Dude. You know what I'm saying? I could smell, like, if you had invisible chicken nuggets, I could still smell <laughs> I could still smell them a mile away. I know they're there. Did Justin just yeet flex his way to the answer? Guys, let's reveal what the answer is. I'm taking a huge W right now. I can't believe how fast you got I'm that one. I'm taking a big W. Wait, so did I get it? Because I do think that's not true, though, because the pony can smell, too. Yeah, but the pony's not trying to oop you. The knight is. How you no, because <laughs> it's a pony. A pony tried to oof you once at the petting zoo. Well, yeah. Because you kept trying to give it kissy. <laughs> and the pony got angry. Yeah. And I'm leaking stuff. <laughs> and my mom told me not to leak. Yeah, we both got banned. I, I keep it real. We no. both got banned from the carnival. No, I didn't. Yeah. I didn't. I remember. No, I didn't. All right, whatever you say. I didn't get banned. <laughs> I got banned from the corn dog stand. <laughs> exactly. Just that, I didn't get banned for the whole thing. <laughs> I think it's the night, dude. You choose the night because they can't see you. And they got a suit of armor anyway, so they can barely see, like, anyways, through the suit of armor. Exactly. All right, lock in your answers. It's the night, bro. The invisibility cloak won't help Ooh. against the rail car. So I'm saying, still gonna get run over. True. Right. Okay, the lions can still smell a tank, John. Yeah, they can use their nose. Bro, John should choose the third tunnel. Let's go! All right, two out of five. Next riddle. Okay, now this one says three boys were playing in the garden. Ooh. Hey, 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 there's Adam. <laughs> okay, three boys. Three boys. We got Bob, Sam, and Roy. Okay. <laughs> Roy with the boys. <laughs> Roy and his boys. Okay. Bob, Sam, and Roy. Bob says, let's race. Okay, this is like what happens when Adam and I play. And I always win. Ready, steady, go. <laughs> All right. Okay, okay, okay. So far, so good. This guy kind of got the Adam haircut, okay? <laughs> Roy came in first. Okay, Roy. Wow. Wow, look how happy they are. Suddenly, the Bowies heard a police siren. Wee, 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 alert, alert. <laughs> Somebody's in trouble, alert. Let's see what it is. Bro, one of them gonna go to jail? They were scared and hid in the bushes. Why were they scared? The Bowies, yeah, why, what are they scared for? I don't know. Their mother went outside. Huh? Hmm. What is going on? She said. Weird. We got a message that one of your bowies was replaced with a oofing robot. Oh my goodness. One of the bowies is a robot beepity boopity. Exactly. And it's a robot that just oofs Oof. everyone. And it's not a nice robot like the Likeybot who's soon coming to LikeyboxShop.com. Yeah. This is a mean oofing robot. All right. Let's see what's next. What? Oh my goodness. That is what I would say too. Yeah. Yeah. I think I already know which one of them it is. What? Huh, they're looking at the footprints. How do they know? In the mud. 
Rich footprints belong to the robot. All right, is it Bob, Roy, or Sam? What? Now, this one, like I said, guys, these riddles are gonna get harder and harder. This one's not easy. Not easy at all. It doesn't make any sense. The footprints are, ident are identical. I don't know. I don't know. Yes, they are. Which one is the robot? I know what it is. Really? Bob. Because Bob rhymes with robot. <laughs> Bob the robot. Wow. Or Roy. Roy the robot. What about Sam? Sam I am. Green eggs and ham. <laughs> okay. Robot beepity boopity. Beep, beep, boop, beep. So all of them are robots? <laughs> I, I can dance like what? Yeah, guys, Justin has some lit robot dance moves. I do this every night after dinner. And the mom says, hey, Justin, show us your cool dance moves. I say, yeah, you got it, Miss McCarthy. <laughs> He does this for like two hours, even when all of us stop watching. He's just in the corner doing I just vibe it. <laughs> Adam, all the footprints are the same, but wait a minute. Uh oh. Wee -oo, wee -oo. Uh, big brain alert. Roy and Sam have the same. This is the same. That's the same. Uh huh. That's the same. Okay. That's the same. They're all the same. All right. Bob's is different. These are different. Interesting. So maybe Bob is the robot. But what would a robot do? A robot would clone a human. So maybe the robot was watching Roy. Oh, or Bob, their name spelled backwards is still Bob. That's what I'm thinking, bro. That same sucks. That's what I'm thinking, bro. Yeah. Cause like, if you take my name and spell backwards, Adam, it's Mada. It's Madam. Yeah, and if you take your name and spell backwards, Justin, it's night ju or something like that. I don't even know what it is. But yeah. Bob spelled backwards is still Bob. That's how you think it's him? I don't know. I'm just trying to, like, give you maybe some hints. Wait a minute, guys. Okay, now this riddle is actually hard. I actually don't know the answer, guys. Let me know in the comments if you know what it is. I think one thing I'm forgetting here is that Roy won the race. Okay. Wait, if Roy won the race, wouldn't his footprints be, like, further apart? Because he's running faster, bro. Possibly. Possibly. I, I, it makes sense, bro. If we go back, dude, Roy won the race. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? He's faster. He probably beepity boopity. He's probably hiding, like, a test a battery in his hair. What? Look at how big his hair is. It looks like a battery. It looks like your hair. I'm not a robot, though. Clearly not. <laughs> but I might be. <laughs> 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 you know what I mean? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Hold on. <laughs> Wait, I think this guy look at sus. Really? Cause this guy won. Look, this guy's happy for him. This guy just meanwhile. <laughs> it might be that guy. Possibly. Possibly. I actually don't know. I'm trying to look for hints. Let's race, okay? That's something a robot would say. Yeah, that's true. Roy came in first. Suddenly they heard the police siren. They hid in the bushes. They hid in the bushes. Mm-hmm. Maybe the mom is a robot. Yeah. Beepity boopity. I actually don't know the answer, but I'm gonna take a guess. I'm gonna say it's Bob only because his footprints are different. I don't know All right. why that would be it. It has something to do with the fact that Roy won. Roy won, won the race, but he had the same footprints as Sam. So it doesn't make sense. All right, Justin's gonna lock in Bob. Let's see what the answer is. All right. Like we said, guys, this one is super, super tricky. This one's crazy. I say it's Bob because if you replace B with the letter R, it says Roy. Robot. Right. It's the closest to robot. Oh, wait. Roy also is close. Oh, boy. It's okay. Bob the robot. Okay. Justin locked in Bob. Guys, lock in your answers. Bobo, Here we go. Bobo the robo. They are perfectly straight. What? So Sam's footprints, if you look, are perfectly spaced apart like a robot would be. But like Roy and Bob, their footprints are like more like human. Like they're like just different. Cause like, look at the space in between Bob and Roy's footprints. But like a robot runs in a perfectly straight line. I run in a perfectly straight line. Does that make me a robot? No, you run into walls No, I time. don't. <laughs> wow. That's why, cause these are evenly spaced. Exactly. How was I supposed to know that? I'm not a running expert. A human can't run like it. Yeah, I can. <laughs> I can. All right, guys, let's move on to the next riddle. Okay, this one says, Tim really wants to join the new luxury fitness club. Oh, it's like a fancy gym. Wow. Uh, Tim going to the gym. <laughs> <laughs> that opened up downtown. Oh, that's a nice gym. Whoa, I bet the weights are made of, like, gold. What? 
The only problem is that to get through the front door, you gotta be probably jacked. You have to answer a riddle. You gotta answer a riddle to get into a, a gym? Exactly, and if you get the riddle wrong, you're not getting in. He thinks it won't be too hard. Uh-oh, Tim. So it's like, you're Tim. You gotta solve the riddle. The guy in the line before him goes up to the security guard. Okay, that guy's flexing. Wow. The guard says six. All right, so the guard says six. And he answers back. Guys, listen close. Three. All right. Okay, that's half of six. I'm really good at math. Nice. So I did that in my head. I didn't even use any paper. The guard lets him in. So that was the right answer to that question. Okay, the next lady goes up and the guard says 12. Okay, she's gonna say six. You sure? <laughs> Bro, beepity boopity because it's half, dude. All right, let's <laughs> see, six. Beepity boopity, big brain, big brain. And the lady gets let in. Now it's Tim's turn, Timmy Tom. Easy, guys, whatever the number he says, divided by two. All right. Four is two. <laughs> Duh. All right, let's see. It's two. So the guard says four. Tim, feeling pretty good, says two. I'm a genius. Okay, what kind of riddle is this? I just beat it. <laughs> All right, let's see. Well, Wrong E! Don't A on me! <laughs> don't! Don't! You gotta keep going! How did I get that wrong? It's a riddle! Wait, what? The riddle's not over? What's the right answer? Okay, so guys, like I said, these riddles are gonna get harder. This one's probably one of the hardest in the entire video. What's the answer? I have no idea! Is this a math test? So the first guard says six, then they say three. That's half. The next guard says 12, and they say six. Hey, that's half. Four is two. That's not the right answer. This is this a trick question? No, it does make sense, guys. The answer does make logical sense. Okay. It's just very hard. I know what it is. What? I know what it is. At six o'clock, I get three <laughs> gummy treats from your mom. Yeah, she does give you that. At 12 noon, I take six donuts from the kitchen. That is also true. At four o'clock. What do you do? I dance. <laughs> <laughs> do you think the answer is dance? I don't know. I, okay, guys, I'm actually thinking, I actually don't know. Hold on. Foxy has something to say. Foxy says. Foxy, you know the answer? Yeah. Yeah, you got it. What is it? Maybe you add the numbers. Two. Okay, what if it's a pattern? Six plus three is. La you laugh. No, 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 no. Go like, ahead. You laughing, bro? Go ahead, go like, ahead. No, what you, what's funny, bro? What's six plus no, what, three? No, what's funny, bro? No, I want to no, see what's what it's funny, bro? I, I just want to see what you, where not, you go with you're this. You're not keeping it cool, eh? What's six plus three? You got it. What is it? Six plus three. <laughs> <laughs> Foxy and I need the leggy bots help to do math. Whatever. Whatever. At least we can read above a kindergarten level. That is true, yeah. Hold on. You got it. Nine, bro. Okay, six plus three is nine. It's nine. Twelve plus six. Now it's getting hard. What is that? Twelve plus six? Well, if you have twelve donuts, like a dozen donuts, and you add six more, how many do you have? Eighteen, obviously. Boom. Oh, eighteen. Dude, I'm a genius. Okay, six plus three is nine. All right. Twelve plus six is eighteen. I'm noticing a pattern. Nine, eighteen. What's the difference there? It's nine. See what I'm saying? Yeah. So I add nine again, and that's. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> What's nine plus eighteen? Twenty-eight. So it's. <laughs> What's so funny? What's funny? What's 18 plus 10? 28? What did you just say? I don't know. Why are you throwing so many numbers at me? <laughs> you said 18 plus 9 is 28. It is. What's 18 plus 10? 28. They both can't be 28. So what is it? I don't know. Shh, guys, I'm not giving Justin don't any secrets. Don't you dare saw me. Guys, don't see if you can solve this. It does make sense. It's looking like you're not getting into the gym. Stop! I'm just saying. I'm going to the gym. I don't think so. I'm going to the gym. Unless you can solve this. You're messing with me? I, I literally had it, and you're messing with me, and I'm sick of it. All right. Keep it real, Adam. Six plus three is nine. Twelve plus six is eighteen. Nine. Eighteen. What's nine plus eighteen? Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. So the answer is twenty-three, because it's four plus twenty-three is twenty-seven. I'm so smart, bro. Like, just get. Hey, somebody give my award. You want to lock in that answer? Yes. I just found the pattern. That's a geometric sequence. Okay. You want me to give you a little hint? It's like the numbers of pi. It's twenty-three. I don't need your hint, bro. Oh, okay. And you said it was two. It was not two, Tim. Silly Tim. Okay, everyone, watch. I'm going to say a one word hint. Counting. That's what I'm doing all the time. That's a little hint you for you guys. Counting? Counting. That's two words. 
<laughs> See, I'm gonna give a one word hint. It's 23. All right, guys, lock in your answers. This one was really hard. If you didn't get it, it's all good. Did I get it? It's 23. I did, I did get it. Give me my prize, Adam. Mm, let's see. Give me my prize. Should have said four. The correct answer Why? was four. Why is it four? Why would that doesn't make any sense? Let's see. What was the code? Six has three letters. What? 12 has six letters. Oh, you, you're trolling. And four has four letters. So you had to say the amount of letters that was in the word. Okay, but my answer also is right because I did real math. Whatever you say, but. Hey, I don't, <clears throat> I'm not going to this gym. <laughs> Forget this. Okay, final riddle, redemption. This lady went to explore a local market, okay? Wow. Okay, legit. As she wandered around, a stranger approached her, okay? You want to buy these ancient statues? He's going to sell her ancient statues? I found them in a tomb. They're thousands of years old. Okay, you're not supposed to do that. You can't take stuff out of historical sites, guys. Yeah. Okay, she was interested and she loved the story. Nah, bro, you're not supposed to buy that stuff. She looked closely at the statues. Yeah, really mad at the trader, okay? Uh-oh. Your statues are fake. Okay, well, that, that makes sense. Like, they're souvenirs. Right. But he tried to tell her they're real. He's trying to say these are thousands of years old. How did she know? Okay. Okay, so which of these statues looks fake? <laughs> now, guys, this one, real tricky. I don't think Justin's gonna be able to get it. Of course I would get this one. You sure? Yeah. All right, what is it? I'm a shoe hype beast. Hype fashion specialist. Okay, so maybe just go through each of these and see what could potentially be wrong. This looks real, except it's holding a blaster. Right. And I, that doesn't fit with the other tools. Like, I don't I don't think that makes sense. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, I don't think that makes sense. Is there something wrong with each of them? I don't know, possibly. Okay. What about B? B. I think there is something wrong with each of them, is yeah. It, there's a picture of a cow. Oh, there's a picture of a bicycle. Oh. I'm a genius. I'm a genius. I'm a genius. There's something wrong with all of them. Yeah. But this one had a blaster. I don't think that doesn't fit with the others. Right. This one had a bicycle. That doesn't, that doesn't make sense. Right. They didn't have bicycles thousands of years ago, guys. I'm not sure on the timeline, but probably not. I think they had cows, though. I'm pretty sure they had cows back then, bro. Yeah. That's really what you're thinking about, bro, is if they had ancient metal. <laughs> That's what you're thinking about, bro. Yeah, kind of. This one obvious, bro, because I'm a shoe expert. He got the new Yeezys on. Right. They did not I have cool shoes back then. I have cool shoes like that. I customized them. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, let me show you, actually. <laughs> Check out my new shoes. Guys, these are Justin's actual shoes. These are super heat. What? Whoa. Yeah, super heat. I'm number one. Yeah, I'm he number customized one thing. them. No, I didn't. I bought these on the internet. Okay. They got donuts and chocolate. Nice. They got fire. Because I'll be running. I'm going to switch out my old Skechers for these. <laughs> super heat. Wow. I've got me some super heat Skechers on off the internet. And they glow, right? Yep, they glow. I'll show that later. I know this is fake because the shoes, man. Those are some crazy super heat shoes. But what's wrong with this one? Mm. Now that's the tricky one, guys. What's wrong with C? A, B, and Z. We figured it out. What about this one? Maybe this one is real. Maybe that one's like a ladybug. You think about miraculous ladybug? I don't think they had miraculous ladybug like thousands of years ago. I don't think that's what it is. Is there something wrong with the map? I don't know. Maybe they didn't know like what Earth was back then? You're right! Probably back then they didn't have like a map of the whole world. I don't know. I don't I'm bad at history, bro. Yeah. I'm really good at math. I just proved that. So I'm bad at history though. Yeah, and back geography. then. Back then they probably didn't have like Teslas that they could just drive around and like um, take pictures of everything so they didn't know what the earth looked like. That was a Tesla. That was Christopher Columbus. <laughs> yeah, he drove a Tesla. Christopher Columbus drove a Tesla? You're thinking of Christopher Robinson <laughs> in the poo Tesla. <laughs> I don't know, guys. But I don't know either. I think we're onto it. One of my worst subjects in school <laughs> is geography and history. I'm still working on it. I Damn. Yeah. I don't know. Your mom taught us that. She said Christopher Columbus. She, she didn't mention it. <laughs> <laughs> I watched Winnie the Pooh. I know about Christopher Robinson. Yeah, Winnie the Pooh does drive a Tesla. What? Yeah. Yeah, Pooh Tesla? Yeah, him and Rue. The kangaroo. You talking about <laughs> Eeyore Tesla? <laughs> yeah. I think that's it. I think at the time of these artifacts, which I don't know, this is silly riddle, they probably didn't have a map of the whole world. I'm thinking. Yeah, probably. Probably not. Technology. I'm locking that in. Am I a genius or am I a genius? Because I think I, I actually got three of those. 
Guys, let's see. I don't know about C, but I I I, I know about these three. Is I, Justin a genius? And definitely the shoes, because I'm a shoe. I just have the best fashion sense, bro. First statue has a blaster. Yep. Got it. Boom, boom. Second one has a bicycle. Boom, boom. Let's Whoa. Go. The third can't be that old. Back then, no one knew what the earth looked like. Wow. And the last one got the new Yeezys. They had sneakers on. Let's go, dude. You already know. Hey, let's go. Okay. Oh, okay. It's a bad guy in a mask. This guy is at an ATM. He's getting some money. All right, next riddle. The son of a millionaire. Oh, bunk. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh, he got knocked out. Wow. Wait, so that guy was the son of a millionaire? Yeah. He going to the hospital. Okay, good. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is terrible. Is he oofed? Your son was attacked. Could you come to the hospital? So the police is calling the son's daddy. Oh, maybe. Or multiple people. Or his parents. Yeah. No, because this guy's a millionaire, remember? Yeah. I haven't spoken to my children for seven years. So this is the guy's dad, apparently. This is the millionaire. Yeah. Right? Right. Why are you talking for seven years? That's a long time. Your brother was attacked. Oh, so he's calling multiple of the guy's family members. Oh, could you come to the hospital? Okay. This is the guy's brother. We haven't spoken for seven years. Wow. What happened seven years ago, guys? Oh, he's going to call one more person. His mommy. Your brother's in the hospital. He got another brother. Oh, he got a sister. We haven't spoken for several years, but I will come. Mm. Okay, so she's gonna help. That's messed up. No one wants to help him? She brought flowers and said, get well. Okay, this, okay. Okay, so all three of the family members showed up at the hospital with okay. gifts for the person that got attacked. Okay, did you spot the clue? What clue? Okay, so <laughs> one of these people attacked the brother. What? Okay, let's see. One of these people was behind the attack. Well, how, am I, how am I supposed to know? This is a really, really hard riddle, guys. So, you probably don't already know the answer. You and Justin are going to try to solve this together. I mean, immediately, based on my high intellect memory, because I have a lot of memory, the guy who attacked him, was it looked like this guy, right? It wasn't his daddy. His daddy didn't bonk him over the head. It's not her. It was a guy. Mm, I don't know. It could be any of them. What, how, what, how? Do you remember the guy in the mask? It was a guy. Obviously, the dude attacking is, is that's not his daddy and it's not his sister. Maybe the dad shaved his beard. What? He you think he grew out his beard? I don't know. I don't think it has to do with the look of the attacker because maybe the attacker hired that person to attack him. Okay, that's a good point, Aiden. That's a good point. Now, do I spot the clue? I mean, I think it's this guy. Now, I noticed something a little weird. Okay. So, the cards on the gifts. Yeah, it says get well. It says get well, Samuel. It says get well, Samuel. What is the clue of they haven't talked for seven years? What does that mean, man? Hmm, maybe there's something there. Like, I've been, I was in a test tube for seven years. That's true. So, now I noticed the dad, look at his stance, bro. It looked like he'd be holding a baseball bat. Right, he does look kind of angry. He looked like he about to go swing. Mm. But I also see a small other clue. What? Look at this guy's hand. Why is it like brute? You see that? See? It's like a different color. I see that a little bit, yeah. Maybe when he had the baseball bat and he bonked him, it like hit his hand. Hmm. Let's, let's go through the three people again and really like watch what they say. This is really difficult, guys. I actually don't know. Okay, let's watch this part one more time, guys. I got to pick up on the clue. Come on, Detective Foxy, help me out. She says, I'm helping. All right, so he's in the hospital. All right, all right. He's passed out, bro. Your son was attacked. Could you come to the hospital? Okay, this is the day. All right, the day. I haven't spoken to any of my children for seven years. Okay, why? Why Why would he not talk to them for seven years? Hmm. Okay. And yeah. they hung up. Now he's calling the brother. Your brother was attacked. Could you come to the hospital? What is he saying? We haven't spoken to each other for seven years. Are you trying to mess with me? This is not helping, bro. Your brother's in the hospital. Could you come? It's his sister. It's a sister. We haven't spoken to each other for several years, but I will come. Okay, there's no clues. You're trying to mess with me. So, guys, this is probably one of the hardest riddles that we've ever had on Lanky Box. This is really tricky. I think you're trying to mess with me, dude. Why would you do that? Do you want a little Why hint? Why would you do that? Do you want a little hint? No. Mm. All right, all right, all right. All I'm right. gonna figure this out because I'm a detective. No hints for Justin. Guys, I don't know, but I'm gonna say what does the millionaire have to do with it also? The son of a millionaire. That's the deity. He's a millionaire. It's either the deity or it's him. It's not her. It's not her. It's not her. It's okay. not her. It's not her. All right. It's not her because either the deity is the millionaire and he spent money to oof his own son. Why 
why would he do that? Or is this guy? Because his hand is looking sus, and he would be the one who attacked him. Well, why do you think that the cards on the present say, get well, Samuel, get well, Samuel, and then get well? I don't know. They just wrote different cards. You think it's her because she didn't say Samuel? I didn't say that, but maybe there's some uh, clues in the card. You're messing with me! You want to give up? I'm not giving up. It's either the deity or... Si I think it's this guy. I'm locking this guy. I don't know, guys. Let, let us know at home in the comments what your guess is. I have no idea. I think it's this guy. It's got to be, man. Look, his hand is all bruised up. I'm locking him. All right, Justin's locking in the middle guy. Lock it in. Did I spot the clue? Yes, I did. It's the hand. Look, the hand is, is weird, man. It's a different color. Now, this it's is like probably red. one of the most high IQ riddles of all time. His hand is red. I think that came from bonking his own brother over the head, like I'm about to do. Bonk? <laughs> all right, let's see. He wasn't told which son was in the hospital. What? Wow, so he wrote on the card, get well, Samuel, but he was never told that Samuel was in the hospital. Dude! But like the other kids, like they knew they only had one brother. So when they were like, hey, your brother's in the hospital, they knew it was Samuel. Same with the daughter. But the dad didn't talk to any of his kids. And so when they said, hey, your son's in the hospital, they never said which one. Dude, that is the highest IQ puzzle we've ever looked at on Lanky Box. That makes no sense, bro. Wow, there's actually smoke coming from <laughs> Justin's brain. My brain's overheated. <laughs> Okay, now this one is says it started pouring, so it's raining. A bus went into a tunnel. Okay. Hmm. Okay. A bus. The wheels on the bus. Okay. It was crazy dark in there. Oh yeah, you're in a tunnel, so there's no light. Wow, probably can't see. It's kind of scary. Somebody stole my wallet. Oh, I had some serious cash in there. Okay. The, there were only three other people on the bus. Okay, so it's one of these three people stole it. Hmm. Okay. This is getting sus, bro. The girl says she was listening to music. She didn't hear anything happen. Okay, that's fair. The old lady says she was napping grandma style. Okay, the guy said he was watching the road. It was so slippery out there. I used my remarkable powers of deduction and found out who stole my wallet. Who was it? Okay, once again, I'm stumped. What? Okay, so there's a bus driving through a tunnel. It's super, super dark. When it was like the pitch black, no one could see anything. He got his wallet stolen and one of these people did it. Now, who was it? You think it's the grandma? I don't think, I mean, just based on logic, I don't think it's the granny. Why would granny take your money? Right. Whose story doesn't quite make sense when they were driving through the tunnel? I don't know. I don't know. This guy looking sus. Doesn't it look like he's hiding something, man, in his pocket? A little bit. I don't know. Let me see the stories again, man. Okay, she said she was listening to music. That's, okay, that makes sense. People listen to music on the bus. The old lady said she was napping. That also makes perfect sense. All right, she's sleeping. The guy said he was watching the road. It was so slippery out there. Well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. They were in a tunnel. Right. So, why would you nap in a tunnel? <laughs> What's so funny? What's so funny? Nothing. That's dangerous. So you think it's the granny? <laughs> yeah. So you think it's the granny because she was napping in a tunnel? Everybody knows. Not because it's incredibly dark in a tunnel and no one can see anything? Bada bing, bada boom. It's him. He lied. He said he was watching the road, but it was pitch black. He couldn't see anything. Ah, there we go. Let's see what the answer is. Wow. So yeah, as you remember, it got super dark in the tunnel. <laughs> I'm still afraid. Before I even know the answer, I know I got this one right. Yeah, let's go. The girl, the old lady, their story, check out. Let's go. The let's guy said go. he was watching the road, but... They were in a pitch black tunnel. There's nothing to see. <laughs> Let's go! Okay, now here is the final riddle. Now, this is just a word riddle. <laughs> what is the last thing you take off before bed? This doesn't have an answer. That's a trick question. It's different for everybody. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Now, guys, this riddle is very tricky because you might think, oh, maybe it's socks or like... Okay, no, it's different for everybody. I take off my shoes. Or <laughs> Skechers. You don't have cool Skechers, so you can't do that. For that, I know the answer will be his diaper. <laughs> <laughs> Any other guesses? Cause that's not the answer. <laughs> 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 
There <laughs> is an answer to this riddle, guys, <laughs> and it's really tricky. <laughs> the answer is not diapy. It's not, it's not any of diapy. No. Bro, the last thing you take up before bathe. I don't, it's different for everybody. My glasses? Is what? The last thing you take off before bathe. What do you take off before bed? Your clothes. <laughs> what? Why is that funny? People put out pajamas. Yeah, uh, okay, it's not that. What? It's gonna be something dumb, Ooh. like light. You take off the light, you turn off the light. It's not light, it's something to do with- Don't give me a hint! All right? Guys, let us know in the comments if you can beat me and get this one. Hold on. You were close with Skechers. Huh? When Stop you... it! All right, all right, all right, no more hints. What is the last thing you take off before bed? I'm locking pajamas or anim diapers. <laughs> One or the other, bro. All oh, right, you want to see what the answer is? No, wait, I'm trying to think about this. Guys, let me know in the comments really quick. I can read the comments <laughs> and maybe figure this out. What is the last thing you take off before bed? Maybe ask Ghosty and Foxy. Hey, Ghosty, baby Foxy, do you know? What do you think, baby Foxy? She's gonna take a bite off a donut. <laughs> Hold on, dude. What is this? It's different for everybody. This makes no sense. What's the last thing you take off before bed? Yeah, Skechers. I take off my Skechers. I would go to bed. The last thing you take off before bed. All right, what do you think the answer is? Hold on! That's the last thing you take off before bed. I'm, guys, I'm actually trying to figure this one out. My brain hurts, man. The last thing you take off before bed. What about you, Ghosty? Ghosty, yes. Take a bite off a burrito! <laughs> All the fudgy just take bites off of stuff before they go to bed. Hold on. What? The last thing you take off before bed. Adam takes a hug off his mom. <laughs> no, oh, it's man. not a hug from your mom. The last thing you take off before bed. Take off the covers or something. The last thing you take off before bed. Before you get into to bed what's the last thing you take off it's different for everybody you're not listening okay let's say you're standing by your bed yeah you're about to go to sleep yeah then you get in your bed what's the last thing you took off before you got into bed nothing i just walked into the bed like i said for you to be a diaper <laughs> All right, guys. I think we got to reveal what the answer All right, is. I give up. What's the answer? The answer is the last thing you take off before bed is your feet off the floor. That's not even true. Yeah, the, it's a thing about it. It's a riddle. Like you're standing on the floor. The last thing you take off is your feet from the floor. That's not even true. That's not how I get in bed. How do you get in bed? <laughs> I flop like a fish wash. You want to show us? Okay, pretend this is just in bed right here. So this is the ground. <laughs> I just, I'll be on the ground and then, and then, oh. oh, I just jump. Wow. There are two islands connected through a bridge. Oh, wow. There's eight of them. <laughs> okay. What is this? What are you doing? There is a boy and an apple tree on one island and a girl on the other one. Okay. Oh, see, I see the apples. Okay. Wow. And there's a bridge in the middle, guys. Hey, okay. what's the problem? The bridge can withstand the boy and one apple. I just said, what you mean, one apple? I take two apples, I will fall through there? Yes, exactly. So the bridge can only support the weight of the boy and one apple. One apple. But he needs to bring two apples to the girl. Why, bro? Because maybe they want to eat the apples together. That's how you know it's Aiden, bro. He's trying to date, bro. <laughs> He's trying to bring the apples to a date, bro. Okay? He needs to bring two apples to the girl. The boy's only allowed to cross the bridge once. What? Tricky, tricky. Tricky, tricky. What should he do? All right, that's the whole riddle, bro. All right, so the boy is trying to cross the bridge to give the girl an apple. He wants to bring over two, but the bridge can only hold the weight of himself and one apple. <laughs> now, just to make this a little bit easier, I actually have some apples here that Justin can use. <laughs> no, don't eat that! <laughs> That's not gonna help you solve the riddle. That is. How? That is. I don't know the answer. Really? Yeah. How? He could eat one of the apples. And then spit it back out? Yeah. <laughs> it didn't say the apple has to be whole. 
<laughs> now, the one rule is that the boy cannot just throw the apple across the bridge. That's what I was gonna say. Why? You can't do that. Mm. Well, how do you know it didn't say it? You make it up the rules. That's just one of the you rules of the riddle. Make stuff up. I'm just saying. You make it up the rules. Dustin, you gotta figure this riddle out, dude. Okay, no, you do, because you wanna go on a little apple date. <laughs> That's Adam, bro. Looks like you in the animated videos, Adam. He got two apples. Look at him. <laughs> proud of himself. Got two apples. <laughs> <laughs> now, what would Aiden do? Well, hey, I already got it. Why doesn't she just cross the bridge, bro? Duh. Yeah. Why does he have to cross? He could, she could go to him. Boom. Lock that in. <laughs> but he's trying to cross the bridge. <laughs> Why? Because that's the riddle. Yeah. Why? She could cross it. No. It didn't say you had to cross it. Big brain, she could cross it. <laughs> hey, but what if it can't withstand the weight of her? Don't just eat the apple. <laughs> Guys, see if you can beat this riddle. It's tricky. Okay, yeah, pretend I'm the girl and you're the boy and the bridge is right here. We're gonna add a little bridge right here, Entity. How would you cross? <laughs> <laughs> Eat your apple then! It hit my toe! I'm trying to throw your mouth! <laughs> That's how I try it again. I'll catch it this time. Here we go. <laughs> Well, did you, did you get some? No. I know. He could roll the apple. You say he couldn't throw it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a genius. But then the apple would get all dirty. I don't care. Yeah, you're trying you can to wash it. You can wash the apple. You got water everywhere. That's salt water. That's dirty. Yeah, don't ever do that, guys. Don't Why? drink ocean water. Oh, really? No. I don't, don't know. Don't do that. I've never been out of this room. <laughs> I, I, yeah, you were close. I'll, I'll give you that. When you were dabbing, you were a little bit close. I was close when I was dabbing? Yeah. Maybe, maybe try that simulation again. Okay, you got two apples here. You got two apples. You got a cross. How are you going to get a cross if you can only take the weight of you and one apple? <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh! I don't know. No, you were so close. Dude, Justin's a genius and he doesn't even know There's it. There's no way that's the answer, bro. What do you think the answer you is? You think the answer is he got a jungle? Well, that would make sense because one of the apples is in the air at all times. You said he couldn't throw them. You can't just chuck it across. You said he couldn't throw them. It's the same thing. No, juggling's different than throwing. Dude, there's no way that's the answer. He'll, so he's walking across going like this. So he's only holding one apple at a time. Bingo. That's not... <laughs> Alright, let's see what the answer is. That's the dumbest riddle ever! Well, you might have gotten it right. And you might get one step closer to seeing what your prize is at the end. Dude, I'm a genius. I actually get it by juggling? And dabbing. He needs to cross the bridge juggling the two apples. One of them will always be in the air. Let's go, Jay! Alright, Jesse got that one right. Let's move on. Okay, this one says you're exploring an ancient tomb in the middle of the desert. Huh? Oh, cool. Oh, that's pretty cool. So that's us, guys. Yeah, mysteries. You've gone down deep into the dungeon. Wow. Don't go deep in the dungeon, guys. It's dangerous. When suddenly realize you've lost. Oh, man. You got lost and there's a mummy. That's bad, bro. Looking for a way out of it. Huh. Okay. Found three doors. Uh-oh. You come across three doors leading back to the main hall. Wow. Okay. Try them all. Duh. But there's a trap behind each door. Okay, so Just is gonna have to figure out which door he goes into. Hey, yo, we got deadly pendulums. Oh, man, those would oof you so fast. I mean, a, a trap shooting arrows five feet above the ground. Oh, man, bro. that would oof you. A minefield, bro. With, like, explosion. Minecraft? And oof. Don't, man. Okay, now, which door... Should you choose? Yeah. Okay, guys, this is tricky. I mean, obviously the pendulums, I could run through them. I'm fast. <laughs> I'm fast. I don't think you're fast enough to run through. Let's pretend my arms are the pendulum. Go ahead and run. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fast. That wouldn't happen in real life. Okay, you want to try the second door? Okay. Pretend yeah. Boxy's the arrow. Dude, I think it's the arrows, right? Ow! <laughs> Is it the arrow? Dude, it's five feet. Dude, you just crawl through here or lay on your belly. Mm, I mean, crawling might be it. Minecraft also 
is easy because you can see where the boom booms are. Just jump like this, like you're playing checkers. Right, but if you accidentally stepped on one of them, you get ooh. But you can see where they are, so you won't step on it. Just play checkers. That is true. Checkers. I beat Adam all the time in checkers. So what do you think the answer is? King to E5. <laughs> so you're saying that you could get through any of these. You're saying you yeah. could run through the pendulums, yeah. Yeah. you could crawl like a baby yeah. through the arrows. Why do you say like or, a baby? Or you could, you or, you like could baby. or you could step over the minefield. Why are you sliding that smooth disc? <laughs> You crawl like a baby. I now I gotta expose you. So poor was Adam was in his diaper. Adam was in his diaper, crawling around on the ground like a baby, drinking that. I was just hanging out with the Why baby plushie. Yeah. All right. Yeah, and Milky. He was crawling on the ground in the diaper, guys. It was pretty crazy. Then we had to make this video. I think that's the answer, bro. I think you crawl. All right. It's five feet. That's super high. All right, let's see what the answer is. If this is not the answer, I will rage quit this whole experiment. Let's see, guys. What is the answer? Arrows. Easy. Let's go! The arrows are shot five feet above the ground. Let's go! You can crawl on the floor. Say, dude. Wow. I'm, I'm, I'm three for three. I'm on fire today. I'll tell you what. If you get all five right, I'll give you double the prize. Yeah. Let's go. Okay. This one says you got stuck on a dessert island. Okay. Nice. Okay. Huh? The days here are hot and sunny. Wow. So you're trapped on the island. Hot and sunny. But the nights are wet and freezing. Wow. Okay. Okay. How's that possible? I guess it gets really cold at night or something. You barely survived the first night. Uh-oh, that's not good. Yeah, don't want to oof, guys. Okay, okay. There is enough firewood around, okay? Is that Sticky? Maybe. Sticky and his friends. But you have neither matches nor lighters. Okay, so we can't set them on fire. Yeah. How can you make a fire? What? All right, so you need to make a fire in order to survive. Okay, so how you make a fire? I know how to do that because I'm a boy scout. Okay, how? You, get, you take the wood, you go like this. Okay, you got sticky there. You make fire. Okay, well, if you're a boy scout, then why didn't you just make a fire? I, I, I'm not supposed to inside. It's dangerous. Oh, really? Yeah. But you could if you wanted to. Oh, any time. So you're not I just like a baby you. scout? I'm what? I'm just saying. I'm not. If you were a real boy scout, you would have been able to make a fire. <laughs> I no. am. It's looking to me more like you you're... can hit rocks together and make fire. Okay, so then why aren't you making a fire? I don't want to right now. <laughs> Dude, you and make... there's no rocks on the island. How you make a fire with no <clears throat> matches? I know what I would do. What? Easy, this is easy, bro. What, what, what? I do my lit dances. Oh, check this out. Oh, those dance moves are fire. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yep. Those were pretty lit. That would cause a fire anywhere. I'm sorry, I just said that. I put us both in danger. Yeah. So you think that's the answer? I don't know. Probably. They look like they can do some lit dance moves. That is true. How do you make a fire with no matches? Maybe like it's like magic? What? Like maybe. He's a magician! I don't know. Sometimes magicians can make like fire out of nothing or something. I don't know. Look at Thick Shark. <gasps> Maybe Thick Shark could help because this is the ocean. Yeah, Thick Shark would pop out of the water and breathe fire. He could do that suddenly. He can? Yeah. Wow. If he eats some chili peppers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he puts chili flakes on his pizzas. Oh, cool, Thick Shark. Yeah. Wow. Is that the answer? I don't think the answer is Thick Shark how, breathing fire. How do you make fire without matches, bro? I, I think you were close with the dance moves. I think you were real I think close. I was too. Yeah. I think, is the answer you take the sticks and you do it like that? Because you can't do it like that. I mean, I think you might want to lock that in. I saw that in a movie, yeah. Guys, that's real. It takes a lot of skill. I learned it in Boy Scouts. You get the sticks and you go like this and you make fire. I think that's the answer, bro. All right, let's lock it in. That's got to be the answer. Justin's a genius. Let us know at home if you know what the answer is. I think that's it. This one's real, real tricky, guys. And it looks like Sticky's doing a dance if you do it. <laughs> the glasses! You could use the glasses to catch the sunlight and make a fire. How did I actually not think of that, bro? I thought you would get it because you have the exact same glasses. 
Bro, that's actually smart. That's actually 900 IQ. Wait, does that work? I think so, yeah, because it will oh, magnify. Really? Yeah. Oh. Well, we're inside, Justin. <laughs> Why no? Why are you trying to set me on fire? <laughs> hey, watch out now. I know I got superpowers. <laughs> okay, final riddle. A scientist was exploring an ice cave in Antarctica. All right, Is that like cool. the North Pole? Yeah, it's super cold. Okay, very cold. When an avalanche fell. Get out of there! Oh, man. Oh, no. Oh, he's oofed. Goodbye, my friend. And closed the way he came from. He's oofed. He found four other tunnels. Oh, mystery tunnels. Four. All of them are oofly but one. All right, so which of these tunnels would you go into? Here wait, we go. Wait, what, bear traps? What was Piggy in here? Yeah. What? <laughs> what? All right, that one looks pretty scary. Yeah, dangerous whale. <laughs> <laughs> What's a dangerous whale? I mean, whales can be pretty scary. I think they're huge. Poisonous <laughs> underground gas. <laughs> okay. That would oof ya. Yeah. And a base with an icy lake at the bottom. Oh, wow. And there's like falling icicles. Okay, wait, they're all bad. Why would I choose any of these? What? Which way is safe? Okay, okay, okay. Dude, a lot of these riddles have been about water. I think Thick Shark can help me. All right, Thick Shark, what do you got? Dude, I think it's the whale, bro. Because whales can't live out of water. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's true. Or is it the gas? Maybe you could try talking to the whale. Because they use, like, whale Yeah, sound. you ever hear whale sound? <laughs> <laughs> Did that help you at all? Well, all the way right here. Wow. We'll be outside in about five minutes. That's crazy. Is it the whale? How can a whale live out of water? That's a seal. That's not a whale. It might be the gas, because using Newton's third law of physics, gas spreads. Right? So it will leave the tunnel. You could go in there. You just go like this. And you can blow all the gas out. Hmm. That's what Adam does sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't know, guys. Uh, I mean, you could also hop over the bear trap. Yeah. Yeah. I was, w w what if he could, like, take off his shoe and throw it in the bear trap? It'll set it off. That's real interesting. Uh, or this, the, the icy lake, the lake would be frozen. So he could fall down and... Yeah, I mean, you would still oof if you fell, like... 100 feet on the ice because ice is no, pretty hard ice would break your fall and you could put ice on your boo-boo that is true guys because the ice is right there yeah i bet this guy wished he had milky so he could just have um ice cream he could take milky and make ice cream yeah because ice cream just frozen milky what yeah don't put milky in the freezer guys don't yeah it's gonna hurt his singing voice box right i'm sure it's either the gas or the whale hmm Tricky, tricky. You got it, dude. Just think really hard. I think it's the gas. <laughs> What's so funny? All right, you want to lock it in? Sometimes I get trapped in rooms with a bunch of gas. Well, that's this guy. And I survive. Yeah? So it's probably not going to oof us. All right, let's try it. Is that the answer? Tell me. I don't want to get this one. <laughs> Just tell me. Foxy will edit it out. I definitely edit it out. You promise? Nah. What? I don't want to tell you. You have to do this yourself. You got it, dude. It's the gas or the whale, bro. I'm going to say the gas, bro. Because how would gas be at the South Pole anyways? That's not even possible. All right, let's try it. All right, I'm going to poison his gas, bro. Because you can just get rid of the gas, man. Yeah, or just like wait for the gas to leave or something. Saying, yeah, that's what I'm saying, dude. That's what I'm saying. Let's see. Okay. Whales don't attack humans. Whales are nice and nice. Look at how happy they are. That's not a real answer. Oh, and what's this IQ test, bro? I'm not ready for this, man. I need to study. Oh! <laughs> Find the biggest one, okay. Oh, I need to get pumped. Hold on. I need to go max brain power real quick. Uh, you, you sure that's gonna help? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Oh, I'm ready for what the spaghetti. is the biggest one? I do remember playing this game on App Show. Now, it really did stress my brain out. Now, I don't remember the answers, but this is find the biggest one. I know some of these are trick questions. Is it the number one at the top? I'm tapping. You see that? No, it's not that. Okay. Oh, it's not that. Now, obviously, it might be the apple because that's the biggest fruit on the screen, or it could be the watermelon because that's the biggest fruit in real life. Yeah, it's the melon, bro. It's got it. Yes! Woo! You did it! Nice! Okay, so this game meant to be tricky. Now it says how many ducks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we gotta count how many ducks there are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's ten ducks. Mm. How is that wrong? <laughs> Are you sure there's 10? You lie. What do you mean? I'm so confused. <laughs> One of them might be a uh, chicken. What? Oh. Look close. He said one of them might be a chicken. Foxy, no, there's some chicken here. I can smell it. Foxy, I can smell count them. Foxy says one, two, KFC. Oh, wow. <laughs> I don't know, dude. Is it eight? Is it nine? It's nine. I just had. How? Wait, how is there nine? I counted ten, bro. Because there was one duck there that was like a chicken. <laughs> There's one duck that was a chilk. Okay, it says, who's the tallest? That's the giraffe, bro. They got a neck like Adams, bro. It's gotta be the giraffe. Hey! It's got it's got it. If it's not the giraffe, how is that? What do you mean? Hey, you love giraffes, bro. No, I'm saying it because I literally look like a giraffe because I have the new skip into the chicken shirt on and it's yellow <laughs> like a giraffe. Okay, the giraffe was the wrong answer. Now, guys, make sure you play along at home. Let us know if you know the answer because I, I genuinely don't know, bro. Like, what? Was it the hamster? What you mean? Oh. Is it the doggy? What? Wait, would it be the sun? How is the sun the tallest, bro? Because it's in the sky. <laughs> <laughs> it's the sun! <laughs> You're trolling me. It is not the sun. Okay, can you find out the different one? What is this? I got to count the seeds on the watermelon to see which one's different, bro. It's a spot the difference game. Can you figure it out? They all look identical. I don't think any of them are different. There's probably... Now, guys, I'm learning. Okay, we're four levels in. There's probably a trick question here. Okay. Oh! Wow! There was one hiding back there. <laughs> what? Okay, this game's tricky. Okay, which claw is similar to cat's outstretched claw? This makes no sense. I think it's the second one. It looks like the second one or the fourth one. I would say the second one. All right, let's go. Okay. Oh, hey. What the heck? <laughs> This is a trick question. I like this little cat, though. He's kind of chubby, though, okay? Is it this one? Okay, it's not those. It's not any of them. Great. So that makes no sense. Oh, is it this paw? <laughs> it's the other paw! What? That doesn't make sense! Justin and it says, got I love tricked. It says, I love meow. <laughs> well, how did I get tricked? You didn't even know the answer. Why are you talking I, I trash, I definitely bro? knew it. I was just, why I was you, just why not you, Why are you talking it? trash, bro? Adam's mom sat me and Adam down to do math problems last week. I passed. Adam failed. Okay. <laughs> she asked what the square root of pi was. Okay. Adam wrote down some weird squiggly line in 3.15. He, he wrote some numbers. I knew what it was. <laughs> what is it? It was a pie pan and some crust. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> That's the square root of a pie. That's how you make a pie. <laughs> just can, just can oh, okay. you fail that test, Adam. Don't be roasting <laughs> us here now. It says find out the largest fire. Okay. I'm going to guess it's not the big one right here. Okay. Wait. But I did see when I tapped it, then it moved. Wait a minute. Oh. Bruh. Bruh. Will bruh. Justin figure out this brain puzzle? <laughs> Epic gamer moment, bro. You have to combine all of them, bro. I think that's it. No. Nice. My brain's out. Okay, let's go. Wait, the more the merrier. Okay, that doesn't make any sense, but okay. What is the number under the parked car? Is this a little Fibonacci sequence? <laughs> <laughs> what is it? It's some sort of numerical sequence. 8, 15, 27, something, and the number 20. Okay, mm. that, that, that doesn't make any sense. Okay. Oh, wait, I think I cracked it. Okay, so, Adam cracked it like an egg. The difference between 8 and 15 is 7, because 8 plus 7 equals 15. Yeah. Then... Le the, yeah. The the difference between 15 and 27 is 12. That's five more than than seven. So then maybe the difference between this. What? <laughs> oh come on! <laughs> this 
says you're a genius. I'm a genius. I just try to figure it out with my brain. I'm an actual <laughs> genius. I'm talking about some fractions or something. Uh, I just had to move the car. <laughs> See, that's how you guys can tell. I know how to drive a Rari. I'm not allowed to drive. That's how you guys know. Okay. That's true. That's true. Okay, okay. Wake up the owl. Now, the owl will be sleeping. Okay, okay, hmm. okay. Dude, what if there's like a motion sensor in this game? You gotta shake the iPad to make it wake up. Oh, there's only one way to find out. Wake up! It's not working. It's not working. It's not working. I'm gonna take Rocky and throw him at the iPad. Maybe that'll wake him up. Rocky says, rise and shine. <laughs> no! It didn't work! That's how you wake me up. Foxy says, if I want to wake up, Boxy comes over and waves some chunkin' around me. <laughs> or some donuts. Foxy says, we got a honey bun here. Maybe the owl will wake up for it. Wake yeah. up. Yeah. Wake up, little bird. Wait a minute, dude. It's got to do with the sun. What if I put the sun real close to the owl? Okay, it's, it's now burning up. It's not waking up, bro. Come on, bro. What if you take the sun and, like, put it behind the tree? Put it behind. You can't put it behind the tree, my guy. Wait, but Adam's right. Wait, it's an owl, so it's nocturnal, bro. So it, it sleeps during the day, wakes up in the night. So you gotta get rid of the sun. Oh! oh. Woo! You have a genius brain. We got a genius brain. True, true. <laughs> Find something you cannot eat. Oh, it's chocolate. <laughs> what can we not eat? Oh, dude, it's the pudding emoji. Oh, is that ice cream? <laughs> <laughs> I bet you gotta move something. You probably gotta move the little chicken. <gasps> you can't eat the nest. Oh! Oh, genius! <laughs> you can't eat the nest? <laughs> okay, nice. Okay, it says, which one is not real ice cream? Bro, one of these is pudding. I can already tell. It's the little pudding emoji that Adam's mom sends him in the group chat when he sends the voice memos of him singing. <laughs> 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 yeah, she sends those a lot to me. I don't really know why. Maybe it's like she's saying, like, keep putting it a lot of effort or something? I don't know. I think what she's saying is, I'm putting this singing in the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, wait, wait, wait. I bet you gotta move one of these and it's a piece of pudding. Hold on, hold on, Dude, hold on. Dude, wait, I, I figured it out. What? You gotta use the sun to melt the ice cream and you can okay. find out which one's fake. Okay, it's not working, my friend. Wait, what? How would these not melt? Wait, what? Which okay, one wait. is not a real ice cream? You guys can see where I'm touching. I'm touching every... Wait, is there something on the side? There's something on the side of the screen. No way. What is that? Do you see that little... Is that an anomaly? What is that moving at the side of the screen? Is our iPad broken when I threw Rocky at it? What Maybe. is that? You, you see what I'm talking about on the left? Yeah. Uh, are we being monitored? <laughs> I think you might have broke it when you threw Rocky. We might have broken the iPad. Hold on. Wait, what are you... Okay, you got to move the sun. Wait, what? I'm so confused, bro. It definitely has to do with the sun because ice cream would melt. Okay, maybe, none maybe of them are you melting. have to, like, leave the sun on the ice cream for a while. Okay, none of them are melting. Okay, I'm leaving it here. Nothing's happening, bro. Neither of us know the answer to this, right? Like, we're not... Like, this is real. Yeah, we're we literally, might need We're literally hint. going max brain power, and both of us cannot figure it out, dude. This is kind of sad. <laughs> Hmm. Well, it's level 11, so that's pretty high level. What is it? What do you do, guys? Let us know. I'm panicking, bro, and now I'm hungry for ice cream. <laughs> can you move the ice cream? No, you can't. No, see, you, you can see where I'm tapping, bro. I'm, I, you can't move it. Bro. Oh, huh? Wait a minute. Forget this, Adam. I, I hear something outside. What? It's the ice cream truck. It's the ice cream. I'm taking Adam's money. I'm taking Adam's money. No, Foxy, what we do have you want? to finish Foxy, the video, Justin. Foxy says, video can wait. I want a fudge sickle. What about you, Rocky? Okay, Rocky wants a Rocky road. Okay, I'll be right back, Adam. I'll be right back. Hey, no, we're not done filming, Justin. I did it. 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 I got some ice cream. Oh, chocolate chip. Oh. Did you give me one of those SpongeBob popsicles that I asked you for? Uh, you did, did you? No, oh, I, 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 I did. I definitely did. I definitely did. You did you eat it on the way uh, home? Uh, 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 How many uh, times have I been over this? When I ask you to buy me something, you have to actually bring it home. You can't stop eat it on the way home. Yes. Stop it. We don't do well under pressure. <laughs> Clearly. Rocky says, under pressure. <laughs> Push it down. 
Okay. Uh, okay. Now, Adam, we gotta use a hint, bro. Uh, guys, we're not even trolling. We literally don't know the answer. Adam, do you know the answer? Like, seriously? Because I don't. I do not know the answer. Maybe try and, like, make the sun bigger? Wait, that's genius. Wait, it looks like you can put the sun, like, around. Like, the X is, like, in different spots. Okay, let's use a hint. I'm, I'm over it. I'm over it. Use a hint. Tips, move the sun between ice creams. I did that! To increase temperature. What do you mean? I, what do you mean? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> it was the pudding emoji. <laughs> no. Okay, nice, dude. We did it. Okay, okay, we figured it out, bro. Wow, that was a tricky one. Oh, man. Okay, it says find the darkest color on the screen. Now, this is a little bit tricky, bro. Hmm. I think it's a trick question, dude. I think they want us to guess like this, right? Because it's like red. It's probably the ink for the text. <gasps> Let's go! Wow! All right, guys. Make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe. Guys, if you leave a lot of likes and subscribe, we will see it. And we might do a part two of this video. So, guys, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and go check out LankyBoxShop.com. <laughs> Get some LankyBox merch. Bro, you know we gotta do a part two, man. This game's too sick, bro. We gotta get to level 100, guys. This game is actually really addicting. Yeah, I like this. Oh, man. Rocky says we didn't like it when you screamed. We're gonna go eat some ice cream, yeah! <laughs>